Hello Chicken Army, now we are going to unbox the Kickstarter exclusive stretch goals. So I don't know why the factory sent us a Spanish version, but it doesn't matter, it's the same build. By the way, we're having all the language versions have the same name, War for Chicken Island, so this will change for the Spanish version. And this is an, a very straightforward box, which you can use for other stuff once you take the content outside. So the first thing you will see, it's a, a letter from, from the team to you <laughs> with some important stuff to remember about these stretch holes. Like, for example, you asked for fifth player Kickstarter uh, components and we said that the game wasn't balanced for five players, but for four, but you know, with the campaign did so well that why not? <laughs> So, uh, you have green components for Kickstarter is green mostly. This one is the same as the ones in the core box. Then you have the insert. We are still figuring out some stuff for the insert. So this could be transferred to the big box because right now at this size, it, it cannot. Um, as you remember the acrylic dies all, all the issue with the resin and acrylic dice, but you, our Kickstarter backers, we will get a full die set of the bone and blood dice. Uh, right now, because of some samples and all of that, uh, we have these which are different, but don't worry, you will get five of these and an upcoming add on in case you want to have all prayers use those dice. Uh, okay, so let's leave the dice here. This one is a cloth bag. You may want to use this for the dice, but we recommend you to use it for placing the resources at the beginning of the game that you have must deal a random, um, well, you must deal at random some of them. These are the egg resin shields. You can use this to mark shields you you can use the other tokens as well so you can mark on the battlefield or on the cards or or both now with this you can also paint this these are made of resin and because of the delay the first time we decided to include this for free as our gift to you and now you can see the humiliation tax for the fifth player now the chicken meeples you can use this as well to mark on the battlefield uh, to which player each machine belongs to and we have this for all the players this is also a kickstarter exclusive component so we have the red blue and black and let's go now with the miniatures this is one of my favorites. This is Crestos. Uh, this is Roastinator, which was voted by you to make it into a reality. Then we have Caldor, which is a very popular one. And I think Crestos and, and this one is, they are both my favorites. This is truly awesome. She's Elena. And finally, you have the Mecha Chicken Dragon which is taller and it's a unit that you can build. So now with the cards, I will just pass them very quickly. So the Mecha Chicken Dragon, you need a lot of resources, but it is almost indestructible, <laughs> almost, and can stand on lava. The Rostinator, this gets a bonus when attacking leaders. Elena can provide additional range and can attack like from very long distances. Caldor, which is more like a spellcaster and yeah, fun effects on the battle. Crestos, which can attack two units at once. Uh, this is a reference card for the solo mode and the Cluthulu uh, mode, which we will talk later. And another reference card for the fifth player. And then we will have, all of this will come in shrink, shrink wrap, but actually we are talking with our manufacturer to be more eco-friendly and have 
different solutions. Um, so this is uh, the a promo card from Dodos Riding Dinos, which is exclusive to you, our chicken army. This is a game that it's coming soon, and the graphic layout just changed a little bit, but basically it's like the same illustration and the same effect. And you have some of the Kickstarter exclusive scroll cards. So that's it, let's go with the Kickstarter exclusive expansions. 